so amazing. And so then when I, you know, we were talking a lot about lots of different directors. And when I saw Quinn's work, which I'm familiar with, I was just like, this is it, you know, I was so excited. And I'm still, I'm still reeling from the experience <clears throat> of um, working with you and your whole team. Like everyone was amazing. Thanks. You have great people around you. And I, I really, I really loved it. I, I loved working with you. First of all, I couldn't believe it. I got my, I got the email and they were like, do you want to work with Dita Bontis? And I was like, are you me? <laughs> and we, I mean, we just right away, I feel like we hit it off. Um, I, your house was like a dream that in your yard, it was like magical, like whimsical. And to sit and like look at your costuming and like hear what your plan was and what your vision was for the entire film. And I mean, while that was happening, I feel like I just kept falling further and further and further in love with the idea of collaborating with you. Um, because it was just, I've, I've missed feeling connected to, you know, my work. And it had been had been a whole freaking year since I was able to really film something that had this deep connection and I'm just so happy that we met and we were able to do this and we're both Michiganders. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> I remember being, I was in London shooting The Masked Dancer, which was crazy. I was in full quarantine. I was sitting there going, how am I going to get Quinn Wilson to say yes to doing this? And I was really like nervous. I remember sitting there like, oh, please let her accept to do this. And it was just so great to have your like uh, perspective on it because I'm so used to kind of like, you know, producing the shows in a very different way. And it was so great to have like, I love the day that we sat there and I showed you all of my favorite burlesque performers, which were possible to get, you know, we had parameters. I would love to make a 10 hour burlesque show with all the best burlesque performers from all over the world of all, you know, all types. But we obviously had to like reel it in a little bit and have just, you know, what was possible during that time. And I loved watching those videos with you of, of, you know, ever you know everyone and seeing what you know you were you're just I love your excitement for burlesque and all of the different facets of the performers I I was thrilled to do this because it was finally a chance to like your goal for this was for it to feel as authentic and real and close to you know um the theatrics of actually being on stage as possible which I appreciated mm -hmm. because my favorite part of all of this is being backstage and like feeling the rush and like just having like the the camaraderie and like the energy that comes from preparing for a show you know and performing and it's almost like its own uh it's almost like its own show mm -hmm. the the stage behind the yeah. curtain you know and i think that when we first were talking about but that was what was so exciting is that you appreciated those moments just as much as you know performing to an audience like it's it's that's really beautiful and I think that we really captured that and I want to do it again. like I, know, <laughs> I keep just saying it's got to be a success so we can make it a series because there's so many other people that I would love to have involved and have them immortalized the Quinn Wilson way like honestly it was so exciting even just being there I kept getting goosebumps watching these acts that I've seen over and over but it it's just really it was so exciting to watch you and see it on the monitors and it looks really epic it's exciting and I'm I'm excited for people to see it <laughs> let's see I think I have some other questions here let me look them up talk amongst yourselves <laughs> Bella. Oh, I would love to mention, um, Dita, happy mm -hmm. birthday. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not, it's tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm really like, oh, I'll maybe celebrate my birthday next year. This year I'm too, you know, I'm just working like crazy on Dancing with the Stars here in Paris, which is so much fun, but the hardest work of my life for sure. Stay tuned for the striptease ballroom show. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's coming. 
coming next, I was already like, okay, yeah, I got to like bring, I got to use all this ballroom dance training and uh, turn it into striptease. So, um, okay. Uh, well, Valentina, you make a cameo in it and, but we're preparing something really special for the or Orpheum New Year's Eve, I hope working with Catherine Delish on something really fabulous. I've been such a fan of yours for so long and excited oh. to like really see you on the stage live as part of the show. But you are gorgeous in the cameo that you, that you kindly did for us. Well, thank you so much. Might I just say that it's such an honor to have worked with you and with Quinn and to um, honestly, uh, meet Catherine Delish and Eddie DeBar and being in the presence of such a star like you, Dee. Yeah, and around so much glamour in a time where we were so deprived of the social aspect. I felt like I was living in Gypsy Rose Lee fantasy. It was Aww. just so beautiful to be near so much glamour and so much luxury and so many crystals. Like I really like, I don't know how many orgasms I had. <laughs> um, just mesmerized by your crystals. My oh, goodness. Thank you. But well, that was the other thing is like, Quinn brought, brought those crystals to life in a way that I was just like, ah, because you know, sometimes you see like, you see rhinestones and Swarovski crystal on stage at like, the Grammys or the Super Bowl, but they never get it right. You know, you always go, oh, it just looks like beads. You know, it doesn't look like anything. You have to see it in real life with the right lights. And it's really hard to get on film. Yeah. They, that I, fire, those cut, they cut through your soul. I love when you do that. Like, <laughs> and, 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 and I was like, is this too much? Is it too much? Like there's so many, like there's just stars everywhere. And, um, the person I was editing with was like, never. It's never too much. Yeah, like, never this too much. Nope. It's about decadence and yeah. Uh, and so, Marawa, this was your big comeback too. You had a baby. Know, yes. yes. This, it was, I remember when, when you emailed me, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Is it gonna be? <laughs> Get the hotel, practice, practice. But yeah, no, it was, um, it was a two in one. It was the sort of first show back after this mm -hmm. crazy time that we've been living through which just seems to keep going and going um and then also first show back after uh, my baby yeah was, uh, i mean funny. you were better than ever i have to say uh, okay. you know, <laughs> I, I had the always i get asked all the time in interviews like what why didn't you have a baby or what and, I, and they go but is it because you were afraid to ruin your body i go no i no. know so many women that are better than ever after they have their baby yeah. they better see marawa because she's never looked better get the, the curves the curves come in like you know all that all that training kind of keeps them back but yeah the baby just pushes everything out so <laughs> i felt i felt it, it felt great and and quinn like the detail like that's for me you know seeing the little snippets that we've seen is you just you know, it's always live show is always that's what we've been doing for years. That's what we live for. The, the live show is, you know, we, we didn't go into film for a reason. That's, you know, I love performing live. I love having mm -hmm. the audience there. But there is, you know, to Dita's point, you know, up until now, none of this has really been captured on film before. A, because no one ever gets it right. Mm -hmm. And B, because you don't have the audience. You don't, there's that side of it's missing. But the detail, the mm -hmm. Swarovski the spot like you know you don't you don't you can't appreciate how much is going on in those costumes um you know from even if you're in the front row you just and and to your point of backstage as well there is there's so much that goes on backstage that is a whole show in itself i wouldn't even call it the pre-show it's like it's a whole separate thing of the rituals and the routines that we each have that go into getting us to that moment of being on stage mm -hmm. and then being able to see it not only in a cinematic like I feel like I'm on stage moment, but also, and I can see every single one of those sparkles and they're really sparkling right now. Yeah. It's, it's really, yeah, the goose, there was a, it was a day of goosebumps. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But it, you, know, know, you were so it, incredibly spectacular, spectacular. Always. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a unique act that you have too. I love it. I, it, I discovered you the first time at the Bob Baker Marionette Theater in that little tiny theater. And oh, I was yeah. like, who is that? And, uh, <laughs> like, I gotta, I gotta get her, see if she'll, oh. go. um, I, I forgot what I was gonna say, I blanked out. Um, I was gonna say, I feel like we had the, we 
least amount of time like in the beginning to really like connect and like get together because that day was fast we did all of this goal so quick in day like that's insane we did it all yeah. in a day I no it was no it's crazy like each one of those acts could have been a day you know but to do the whole show and to be able to get all those angles all those close-ups all those like full shots i think is a testament to organization a testament to dita and the team and everyone being able to get all those outfits in and out props in and out you know and to film it it was it's to your point it's it was i'm still like digesting the process that was you know mm -hmm. yeah. 10 12 hours it's amazing and, i mean despite it being really kind of quick and us not having a ton of time because i know especially with your act we have you know these kind of two parts of your act and it's yeah longer act and I was like oh shit like is are we gonna have like enough time like are we like you know because I we haven't really had a face to face until the day of no and out there the first <laughs> all the way through I was like take of it you did such an incredible job and you brought this great energy and I I remember like I could, because we had um, we had four cameras, and there was a steady cam on. I could feel them like gravitating towards. You. you wanted to get up in your shit, you know. But then I kept hitting them, and so they had to keep moving yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> As you, you, your hula hoop would like hit the the lens, and yeah. actually brought something incredible. I think in the edit, I just remember feeling like everyone you know, behind the camera was just like pulling towards you because it, you were just like so magnetic. And oh, I, I really loved filming your performance. Oh, so thank you. It was, it was, I, you know, it was the timing about like everything about when we did it, how it all came together. And I think I was just like, once I decided to have a baby and I, you know, I, I was very much in my mind, like it could go either way. I could be back doing it. I might never be back doing it again. And I was like, that's just, you have to, you know, not just with any performance, but hula hoops being something that is so centered to your core and your abs and, you know, and I had a cesarean. So it was like all these things that were like, you know, am I going to pick the hoops up again? Like what's going to happen? So I think there was that, you know, that little bit of extra, like, oh yeah, it's, we're back. It's happening. I need like many things to prove at this point. <laughs> you proved it. You proved it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you your, Valentina your cat is exactly the kind of cat that I would think you would have <laughs> thank you so much boy cat? I, well I just is had it, to throw him in there oh it's boy cat right yeah well I think he had a sex change oh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay the Chinese mind <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that I've only got my skates I've got I don't have this that's oh, my I can your skates please I let's see a little because I thought while we're doing close-ups, I was, not, you know. Not mules. Like, I already think it's so complicated. I would, I mean. You He's in my house, guy. I would be down and, like, I'm sure. To, even if I stood still and you pushed me, <laughs> it'd be like, dip, shuffle, shuffle, boom, skates up. But, like, mule skates, that's insane. This Incredible. was, I mean, I've got, a, I've got quite a few pairs that are, um, yeah, show us. that are your regular, you know, with, wow. the, with wow. an ankle strap wow. to save you. But, um, with the. I like these ones because the wheels light up. Oh, no. But um, but I've always wanted a pair of. I was like, is this gonna work? Will it's I be really funny? I but, love that. I love that you're challenging yourself. Like you know, you gotta keep. You gotta keep. Yeah. You gotta keep changing it up. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that you brought disco. Yes, disco, I love disco. Always glamour. need a little bit of disco. Oh, mm -hmm. I just, and I, my sister Violet, um, when we were on tour, um, she she borrowed Dita's um, martini glass. And she also has her number with what we call her Hallelujah Hoop, um, the Lyra. But girl, you take yes. the hoops to the another level, girl. Guinness World Records, the house. <laughs> Thank you. I got. I just got inducted into the Hall of Fame. I feel like that's it. I'm. Feel, I'm gonna retire now. That's right. That's really so. How many hula hoops was that? <sighs> I don't know. I, stopped, I stopped counting a long time ago. Because you break oh, one, then you add a few more, then you. But you know, it's a lot though. <laughs> so incredibly talented. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love today. I like, you had you had a little bit of a different snatch in the film. 
<laughs> I was like, whoa, where's this conversation going? <laughs> I so appreciate like you being open to being snatched differently. And I just, I, I, I don't know what my question is, but I just want to acknowledge that you all, and the only thing I'm bummed about is that we didn't get to see more of you and I can't wait for next time because we have to do something bigger and longer with you for sure. No, listen, I, I am so honored that I was invited and like it worked out perfectly because I got to do my homework. I got to sit in and really think about like, you know, that scene in, in, in Gypsy where it's like, every, Anna, mm, Anna, mm, Anna, mm, mm, mm. everybody's got to have a gimmick. I'm like, oh my goodness, what is mine? Catherine, what is mine? And And so I really got to really see what how individually everybody brings their element and how everybody has a different type of performance and it, to study so much glamour and to to look forward to have the time now to prepare and to go into it um it, i'm really excited and really honored especially to work with all of you because i was just blown away by the amount of talent that i saw and um, i really recommend for everybody to watch the show because there's so many different elements in which performance and and glamour is really really the, folk, the key point here and Dita of course the beauty thank you and also just since you mentioned Catherine like she's you know the mastermind behind the bird cage act and the beautiful costumes and the martini glasses I'm <laughs> so you know grateful to have her to have had her present for all of that um you know she when she and I aligned it was like you know we're you know it was like rhinestones colliding and all of our our mutual love of glamour and burlesque came together and you know i'm really excited that she's you guys are going to work together on something special Ooh, please. um like some people ask some questions so like i'm going to see it and i can't find my glasses so okay someone said um how do you decide how did you decide which performers to feature and bring along for the ride um you know, like, I think I said that before, basically, um, that, oh, that question is from Selena Starkiller, by the way. Um, I think it was, you know, I, I presented all the possible options of people that were in LA and uh, Pearl and Dirty Martini in New York and presented them to Quinn and kind of let her curate a little bit. So, um, and then there's a question, Quinn, about what challenges did you face while filming? Um, I think I mentioned this before, but the biggest challenge was time. I mean, I'm gonna say it's like, <laughs> we had, like I had basically two separate kind of um, moments in the film where we filmed downstairs where we, you know, we're getting ready and like backstage and then all the performances and to film all of those performances two to three times in a day on top of the footage that we got downstairs was insane. That was insane. And I'm so proud of what came of it. But if we had two days, we could have. I know. I wish. <laughs> there, there's, <a> little bit. <laughs> there's another question about from Leon Bossa about our preparation and also how you designed like the camera shots and lighting and, you know, all those sort of things, like what preparation we did. Um, we had a really collaborative experience I think right like mm -hmm. yeah we, you invite me to your table which was incredible um and you kind of just walked me through you know here I'm gonna take this off and here you know and which was like my own personal show which was incredible <laughs> that was fun when we when you were doing this but in, inside I was like um mm -hmm. And after I had it that day, though, I was like, okay, I'm gonna put all this on again. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, it was, I it was, was really like, woo. Um, and that was cool too, to see how much like hard work it is, even like just the, the weight of a lot of your costumes mm -hmm. and like how you have time the like maneuvering out of them is mm -hmm. its own set of choreography. And so it was really important to be in rehearsal with you and, and know that. Yeah. Um, and then after we had that insight, I went back and I storyboarded, which I think was helpful for all of us. 
we all needed to have those little like cartoons to like show us what we were going to be doing the next day. Um, and let go and let God, because like I said, we, we <laughs> just kind of had to go for it, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm just looking through a few questions. There's Valentina. Are you going to tour in Europe sometime soon? Um, I don't have any plans for um, for touring just quite yet. I'm going to be busy the whole rest of the year um, preparing in Pilates and Alexander Technique. I already got homework okay. <laughs> um, from Catherine, um, and I'm going to be doing some some TV and some film. But by next year, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be starting my tour, girl. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, some people are asking about my, my tour, which happens next year, and ho hopefully all will go as planned. But Europe and the UK, it starts in February and goes for a long time. I think like nine weeks. It'll be the longest I've ever been on tour for sure. Um, I'm scanning some more questions. Let's see here. Oh, people are, some are asking if this will be released on DVD. Um, no, this is just for the, to live stream next weekend. I mean, there might be an opportunity at some point for a replay, but this is like a once in a weekend type thing. Yes. Digital yeah. version of a live show. Yeah. Comes yeah. <laughs> um, and people might want to tune in for my really ridiculous, ta me trying to learn how to twirl tassels with the master dirty martini. I mean, I make a total fool of myself, <laughs> not for me, but I try, you know, I was like following along in the lesson and you can too. So no, did we lose someone? Did we lose? Quinn, no, Quinn vanished. We lost Quinn. Oh no. she fell. Okay. Maybe her phone died. This, okay, here we go. I gotta, there we go. She's back i see you his vintage touch <laughs> I'm yeah. so he's, a, he's actually here with me oh he is <laughs> yeah don't we get a cameo come on come on come on tom um i was making valentina look pretty so oh. I'm sure you well, um, let me see if I have, there's like a lot of questions, but um, let's see. Some of them I don't really understand. So. Do you know when how, I want to know, do you know how heavy those costumes are? Because one of them in particular, I was looking at being like, that is. Catherine hilarious. hates it when I talk about how heavy they are. Oh, no. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I never no, um, I, I mean, never. you know, we, I think we've weighed them sometimes and, but it's kind of like, it's kind of useless to weigh this stuff because you think like, it doesn't really matter. It's kind of about the scale and like where it hangs. Like every costume has a new challenge. Like, oh, if there's extra crystal on the hips, then when you do something with your hips, your hips keep going, you know, that everyone, or if you have something on your arms and you do something like this and your arm is going to keep going. So it's kind of fun when we make a new costume and it's like, just the what is it going to be what is the new challenge going to be with this sometimes costumes have their own new walk you know like i have to develop a new walk and a new dance for the costume which yeah, is funny. I, think that's, I, love... I, mean, that, I think that's one of the things you don't you don't appreciate like because the, when you wear them when the way it looks it just looks like it's so easy it looks like a feather boa like it's just being carried around it looks so you know but the truth is there's a you know, there's work well, going on. There. Nothing that looks easy and effortless and smooth actually is really. You know yeah. that. Exactly. You've got how many, year, how many years of training do you have? For plenty. Hoops and roller skating? Plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. And the hoops are heavy and the skates, the skates are yeah. really heavy. People always think, oh, it's just like a shoe, but it's, you know. No, no. It's roller skating in high heels, I know is not easy. I can barely roller skate, period. <laughs> no, but you're a great skater. No, I'm not a great I've seen you on the ring many times. No. It, it could be great. I thought I worked out it. about your choreography, Peter, that I thought I, don't, I didn't even have the answer for after working with you. But um, in some of the situations, like with the martini glass, do you choreograph exactly what mm -hmm. you're going to be doing? Yeah. What, what's the like, ratio of like choreography versus like freestyling? Yeah. It's, a, it's kind of a little bit of both because I discovered a long time ago when I give myself room to, um, to experiment, I come up with stuff that's good. Like sometimes mistakes 
um, end up being the funniest things. Like for instance, there's a moment in the show in the martini glass act, champagne glass act, where I take off my bra and I hold it out and the Vontourage guys were meant to already be there to come get it, but I did it too early and I just stood there one night and held it. And the guys were like kind of doing this choreography of running in slow motion to take the bra and the crowd went wild. So I was like, all right, there's a happy accident, keep it. So <laughs> that happens a lot where I just kind of, you know, and also with the, the, the way the costumes are, you know, I never, some, I need to be able to like have space to spend more time getting it off. Um, and I also kind of get like, you know, I get anxiety about <laughs> choreography because I grew up like in a, taking ballet lessons in a rinky dink ballet school in a farming town in Michigan. And I was never a good ballet dancer at all. I just loved it and wanted it really bad. And so I have kind of fear of choreography because I've always been that one that has to stay in the back and watch everybody to try <laughs> keep up. So I always have this kind of like fear of um, choreography, which is really, you know, why one of the reasons I'm here making an attempt on Dancing with the Stars in France. <laughs> it's like a real, a personal challenge to like s tell, learn and, and get my confidence about learning choreography. Although, like I said, with, the bur with burlesque, I really made a decision a long time ago to have some of the, the most elaborate costumes possible on stage and, um, and doing like, looking at striptease a little bit like a Houdini trick. So um, I have a lot of fun with that. So, you know, and nobody ever came to see me do like high kicks or anything. It's not like that. <laughs> but there's so many details, the beveled foot, the way that you point your fingers, the way your shoulders are down all the time. You're just, you're just such a master of your craft. It's so beautiful. And it's, oh, it looks subtle, but I mean, I can just imagine like how strong your core is when you're doing things with fans that are humongous that are probably heavy but they look super lightweight <laughs> yeah I guess I'm always afraid too of like dance looking like I'm dancing beyond my ability I like when things look effortless and easy so I always think dial it back a little bit if you don't have the ability and one of the things I love about burlesque is that you know you're you, the there's room for people that are non-dancers there's room for people that are amazing dancers and I think that's one thing I like is I, I do love putting non-dancers in the show. Um, just people that I feel like have got it, you know, like Gia Genevieve has toured with me a lot because you just like watch her on stage and she's got this like, you know, it wow factor. And so I love putting I love putting people in the show that that aren't necessarily, you know, professional dancers. They just have something and they know how to convey sensuality, you know. Oh, in Pearl Noir in this film so beautifully. Sorry, I cut out a little bit. I didn't get to hear Pearl. I, Pearl, Pearl. Pearl. Oh, Pearl. I mean, don't how get started on Pearl Noir. Is in her first, I mean. How just like, like bold and like in your fucking face she is. Unreal. That is that is a performance. I mean, I never got tired of watching anyone's, but I looked forward to reviewing her footage every single time it came on because yeah. every moment is just like fiery. Yeah. It was so beautiful to it's, watch her. Pearl's astonishing. Like I used to make a joke all the time where I'd say, Pearl Noir, if you get one more standing ovation in the middle of my show, I'm going to send your plane ticket under the door. No, <laughs> I love Actually, my goal is like, as many standing ovations in the show as possible. And I love to ask people, what was your favorite part of the show? And I don't, I'm not looking for any compliments on me. I love hearing when people can't decide who their favorite is. And they're like, oh, when Pearl Noir did this, when Dirty Martini did this, when Jed Adore did that, that's right, like what I love, you know, is every performer should be just show stopping. And on a selfish personal note, um, I really, me and Zelia, I, I was texting Zelia because I was like, oh, I wish we could have the international board. No, is, you know, it was the dream team. It was the dream team anyway, but I was, you know, Zelia's personal favorite, personal, personal favorite there. We have to get her, you know, here. The, yeah. We have, to do, we have to film more of the show so it can go. Yes. The whole more, more shows, more shows. Places where we can't do shows, um, which there's still lots of them, you know. There's a lot of places I can't ever bring the tour, so that's the other reason I'm excited about 
this um, this show. Yeah, but yeah. Pearl, I was crying. I was many many a tear, many mm. a tear. It was yeah, that was yeah. that was She's a lot. Amazing. amazing, amazing. Well, thank you all for being here. I hope we can do this again soon and. Thank you for all being part of the Night of the Tees. It's like a dream come true. And I really hope we get to do more and more and more and lots and lots of other performers as well. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so wow. much. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Hi, guys. Bye Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Great to see you. Virtually. You too. Good to see you too. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you, guys.